Hello ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome you to our 6th C++ tutorial. In this tutorial, we want to talk about variable data types. In our previous tutorial, we learned about variables and we made use of two variable data types. Today, I want to introduce you to the 6 most used variable data types in C++. Remember, there can never be a C++ program without variables. And to create variables, you need to declare data types. No variable can exist without a data type and no C++ program can exist without variables. So remember, we made use of the int data type in our previous tutorial. So today I'm going to use the int again and I will create a variable called QTY. QTY means quantity and I'm going to initialize it by assigning a value of 7 to it. So quantity is equal to 7. Now our variable is called QTY and it has a value of 7. Why did we assign 7 to this variable? It is because 7 is an integer and this variable is assigned a type integer. Today our focus is on the type. What you see right here is called the data type. The data type describes the type of variable we have created and the value that can be stored in it. So this variable here can only store integers. In C++, there are three main data types that are used to store numbers. Int is the first one and I'll be introducing you to the other two in just a minute. Again, you have to understand that in C++, there are two types of numbers. The first type is called integers and the second type is called floating point numbers. So what are integers? Integers are numbers without decimals. They can be negative, can be zero or any positive number. So long as there is no decimal place, it is an integer. And so seven here is an integer. So how about numbers with decimal places? Those types of numbers are called floating point numbers. Floating point numbers in C++ are numbers with decimal places. For example, I'm going to create a variable and this time I'm going to give it a data type float. Float is one of the new data types I want to introduce to you and this float is used for floating point numbers. Let me call this unit cost and say equal to 49.95 semicolon. Alright, so here I've created another type of number. This is referred to as a floating point number because of the decimal places. Let's output what we have and see what will happen. So I want to create C out QTY. Let's run this and see what will happen. If I run, let me just save my work. File, save. Let me call this data types.cpp. Save. To run your code, you need to come to the top right here and click on this run command. Over here, I can see in my console 7. Because I wrote C out QTY, that is quantity, I can see the result here that says 7. Let me go back into the code and try adding some decimal places like 0.55. Let me run this again. Now, even though I added 7.55, I am seeing this here as 7. Why is it printing only 7? and not 7.55 because the variable QTY can only hold integers and 7.55 is not an integer. This time, let me come here and see out my unit cost and let's see what will happen. Let me clear my screen and save and run. Let's see what will happen. Right now, I'm getting 49.95. This time, I am getting a decimal place. Why am I getting a decimal place? Because I use the right data type called float to create this variable called unit cost. If you use float, float can hold decimal places, but int can never hold decimal places. When it comes to floating point numbers, that is numbers with decimal places, there are two data types that are used. The first one is what I've used here called float. The second one is called double. 
so let me create a variable double total cost and assign a value unit cost times qty semicolon all right so notice here i've created an integer i've created a float and now i've created a double this double is going to hold the unit cost times the quantity let me save this and run it again for you to see sorry i need to see out total cost all right let's run it this time as a matter of fact let me put a code here that will clear the screen anytime it is running i'll say system open parenthesis quotation cls semicolon all right let me save this and run again run now i have a clear screen and i see 349.65 this is my total cost and so you can see here that i have made use of float i've made use of double float and double are both used to store any number with decimal places again in c we have two types of numbers that is integers and floating point numbers with integers you have to use the int data type with floating point numbers you have to use either float or double so what is the difference between float and double the main difference is that float can only store up to six decimal places and so when you create a variable and you are sure that the decimal places will not exceed six then you use float double here can store up to 15 decimal places and so anytime you create a variable that you expect more than six decimal places then you have to use the double also when it comes to memory usage float only uses four bytes of computer memory and double uses eight bytes of computer memory so that's the difference float can store up to six decimal places double can store up to 15 decimal places float only uses four bytes of memory and double uses eight bytes of computer memory so right now i've introduced you to the three main numerical data types in c the first type is int second is float third is double and i'm sure you clearly understand when to use any of these three the last thing i'll say about the numeric data types is that anytime you are assigning a value in the code make sure you don't use any quotation marks just enter the numbers without quotation marks all right